What's going on? It's Jim, and I'm going to show you how to do some of the settings on the 08 in the controller. And this is from a document that Reverides provides if you buy it from them. Uh, I'll see if I can get a link to it. If not, I'll do a little picture of it here in the screen, and hopefully this helps you out. Now, unlike some scooters and bikes, here's a here's a picture of the uh, of the settings. Sometimes there's a password to get into a sys on into these systems to do these settings. Uh, there isn't with with the uh, with the zero, which you know I I guess you could probably see plus and minuses to that. Um, anyway, I had it on already, but I'm going to turn it on. A couple seconds on, powering on the scooter, brings you to the odometer, um, and it it's not always in gear one, which is speed limit. That is. That depends on what you were in when you got off the scooter last. So mode takes you through the different speed levels as well as when you hold it, turns on the headlight with you the nice little headlight indicator. And what I tend to do here, just so you know, I leave these bolts tight, snug, but not ultra tight so that I can move this. I, this will actually a little bit loose. I should tighten up a little more. Um, which that does is sometimes you get some glare in the sun. So this is nice to be able to uh, deal with that. Five bar indicator at the bottom of battery. If you hit the power button, that cycles you through some of the other functionality to display. Going to your trip, current voltage, lifetime odometer, and that's it. So to get in the menu, you hold both of the buttons for a few seconds. There, that was really quick. Got you to P1. Okay, so P1 is the LCD brightness. This is like a uh, running cycle with this scooter so you just have to keep hitting mode and if you go past you have to come back through which on some of the settings is a little bit of a pain but hopefully you can see right there the different brightness levels um, I'm just gonna leave it in brightness level 2 to accept you just hit to the power button to move to the next setting so this gives you your mileage display kilometers miles kilometers miles then move on so P3 is voltage. So this one is a 48 volt scooter. So you got it at 48. Um, there's the different settings. You can see them. Wow, the voltage, the battery. I, I haven't charged the scooter in a little bit while. The battery just kicked down a little bit. So P4. So this is dormancy time. This is how long the scooter is going to sit before it automatically powers itself off. And oh, if you hold it, I didn't really notice that. At least you get, save a little time there as it speeds up the display as you hold mode. Power over to P5. P5 is not used on the scooter. P6 is the wheel diameter. So we got an eight inch wheel. Um, now that's a little bit different in a way because the front wheel is eight and a half inches with this scooter, but the rear wheel where all the mechanics and everything that corresponds to the display is eight inches. So I'm going through it because I, I went past it. That's the only negative with this the way this display is configured, how you have to like toggle up. So I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to see me toggling up. Okay, now we're back to eight. So P7 is the number of magnets in the motor. The manual says, or the guidance document says it's 28 magnets. P8 is power level, zero to 100. Um, so you can basically go in 5% increments uh, up at starting at 5%. And I think when the scooter came to me, it was um, set at less than 100. So that that really, it's I like that customization. So you could kind of, if somebody didn't know, you could tell them that you could limit the power and they wouldn't really know, if, you know, if they were more of a beginner. So P9 is the zero start. See, uh oh, it just reset, but it should go back to that same point in the menu. So one is zero, that kick starting and you see can see how that indicator just changed live so you got non zero start and zero start i do non zero start cuz i prefer to kick start p10 is not used p11 this is the electronic braking force level um, it's basically on a scale of 1 to 5 i tend to go on the high end i actually had it at 4 i like getting pretty strong electronic braking especially with the 08 with just one with just one brake. And so we got P11, oh, I just said that. P12, this is the acceleration 
potential. It basically is one is kind of gentle up to five, which is basically as high a torque as this thing can put out. I mean, it's an electric scooter. What do you think I want it on? I want it on five. P13, P14 are not used in the menu. P15 is the cutoff voltage. Um, so 39, it's basically, it's kind of protecting. Look, I'll put on the video if I can find out what percentage of battery estimate that probably is. And yeah, getting back in the menu, P15, like I just said. Uh, P16 zero Z, says it zero is the odometer. Um, that I don't. That's interesting to me. I'm gonna let this reset real quick because I don't want to zero the. That was one I actually really hadn't used. So it's P16. I'm gonna let this reset. My concern this is zeroing the lifetime odometer. Um, so. What I'm going to check here is I'm, oh, I can't do that with the trip. Uh, I'm going to do a little ride after this video and see if this P16 actually resets the trip versus this. And I'll put on that same portion of the video, what resets the trip if it's not that menu item. Uh, this I think is a little bit odd if it's actually resetting the lifetime that, that I would doubt that that's the case. P17 is cruise control. So cruise control on is one and off is zero. I like cruise control on, so I put it on. And then P18 to 20 are not uh, used. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. Ding, good. Catch the wave.